One like already, bloody hell, that was quick, thank you. Um, <clears throat> right, cool. While we're doing a, a lion, I thought I'd uh, do a little tutorial on how to tattoo fur. I can't even see it in the fucking picture. Um, <clears throat> same as the hair technique I've just uh, dropped. It's exactly the same, to be honest. And um, just give it a clean off. So I'm using the uh, I'm using the Bishop One shader on nine volts, and I'm using a. I think this is a. What is this? 15. This is a nine. Is it a, this is a nine uh, bug pin magnum. You can see how far it's sticking out. Like that. So not too far, but a bit further than uh, you would to line with, I suppose. And uh, 54 people watching already, that's cool, a minute in. Yeah, I'm just slowly making my way through this portrait of this lion. So it's pretty, it's the same as the uh, the hair tutorial, to be fair. So for um, the direction of the flow, let me get this reference up. So you can see, you can see like the flow of the, the hairs, uh, the fur and stuff. You just basically want to move the needle in the same sort of direction as it's as it's moving. So say if you're coming down here, you curl it round, side to the side. You just brush it in like this, which will make it quite a um, smooth smooth transition. So it's not too sort of scratchy looking. And then you just build up your tines wherever they are on the reference. You can hear it now, a bit better. You can see that nicely fading out now. I like doing this technique as well, like putting it in and dragging it, not straight in, but at a nice angle, just brushing it in, creating different lines. Um, so that's like the, the the long the long fur. So you can um, so there's like di where it's, it's pretty much the same technique. It's just uh, between the short fur and the long fur. The the long fur you, you, you'd use longer strokes like this, keeping your hand consistent. Like that. Different tones, obviously not all the same time. Um, again, there's a short, small bit here. Uh, the needle I'm using is the, the third, it, it's a bug pin Cheyenne. I use all Cheyenne needles and it's the, the, the 13 curve mag bug pin. And we'll just flip this out this way. Trying to exaggerate the movement so you can see what I'm doing. You see that's going in there now. Um, uh, so yeah, so the longer the the longer hair fur, it's the same same technique as the the, the hair one I've just uploaded. Um, so say so, yeah, between the the longer and the the shorter fur, then you just use smaller smaller strokes for the shorter furs really. So. You, just small ones, but it's it's harder to do the shorter fur in my opinion because you can't have a a, a long run up to make sure it goes in s smoothly from the start because it just goes in like that sometimes. So you get a, quite a harsh line there. So you just want to take your time and just. Uh... But again, go, going with the direction of how the fur looks in the in the reference. So whatever the direction it's going, you want to move your, to the side, move your um, needle that way. So we carry on going through this for a minute or six. 
scarf here. This is, this is going to be solid black because on the reference it's solid black. So this is going to be the long strokes. This will be a bit pinchy up here, boy. <laughs> like this. Nice and flicky. Nice slow movements as well to get the ink in. So you can see that now, it's, got, it's looking like fur. And it's the same technique as the hair one I've just, I've just done. So you've got two videos out there now and you can use this the same. It's easier to do fur in my opinion because it's um, shorter parts in hair. You've got really long, long strands of hair which uh, makes it difficult. But this is a bit, bit easier when you come to do fur because it's, um, it's shorter. Um, so this is going to be black again. Again, using the side of the mag, not like this, like this, so it's in a line. And follow the direction of the flow of what the, the reference is saying. Layer it up if it's too light. I'm using solid black right now. So you can see that's lighter. Keep la layering it up. Like so. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, to be fair. I'm gonna just wash my needle out, put some, uh, like a one up from the lighter shade, so a light tone and then just show you how I do the short ones. So just shorter strokes, fast, short strokes. That's what she said. <laughs> and uh, yeah, everyone loves a, a short stroke. You can see that now coming in. Again, following the direction of this flow of fur, flow of fur, furry flow. <laughs> fleur. Fleur, yeah, the fleur, direction of the fleur. Just constantly looking back at the reference to see what tones go where, what darks go where, what lights go where. That's the hardest part about doing an animal portrait is uh, the tones and where to put them. Please smash a like on the video if you're watching and you're enjoying this tutorial. I will very much appreciate it. Saturate this a bit more from here. Fade that out. Let's go through some of your comments real quick. Do you use pure black yet? Yeah, uh, this is pure black. I use a range of colours. I'll just pop this up. These are my colours. So I've got black, pure black, then I've got dark, then I've got medium, then I've got light, and then I've got extra light. And then these are my rinse cups. So these are the rinse cups. And then that cup there will be the white. And that's it. It's on nine volts, running on nine volts. So that stays like that throughout the whole tattoo. So I don't touch that. And the reference is sat here. So you can see what I'm looking at. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go in with a, a medium, well, no, a dark tone here. It's on the reference, it's a dark tone. So we'll do this little bit here, using the side of the mag, creating a line, like that. You want to keep the, your, your hand movements as slow as possible just to, I'm going to go in with a solid black now, just to uh, make sure that the, the ink goes in and it saturates nicely because if you go too fast like this, it will look, it's not gone in too, too well, you know, so you slow it down and it gives it a chance to fully saturate the skin then. You can see that going in a lot better now. And just keep a really nice consistent hand speed 
following the flow of the fur, the flow, and your sweep. Um, I'm going to switch to a liner, free round liner, to just outline these whiskers. So I use like a light tone just to outline. Because if they're too dark, if they're black, um, they'll just look a bit cartoony in my opinion. Um, See, so yeah, I'm using a light tone now. Just to, uh, the, it, it looks dark now, but when it heals, it will heal in the light tone, you know? So it may look dark now, but it won't be when it heals. and then we'll probably saturate that bit in there with this while I put the needle out. Flick it out. Um, we've got one more whisker here. We've done that side of it already. Straight line. And then that bit is a dark tone as well. So I'll stipple that in the middle of there. Fulfill that. <clears throat> yeah, man. What's going on, people? Um, a Radu, I hope you've got a, a good uh, a good course because if it's not a good course then you're just going to learn fuck all really. You're going to learn shit that's probably on my YouTube channel for free bro. So make sure you go through all my videos because you will learn everything that you need to learn. See, this is bending around like this now. As I'm doing it, I'm turning my machine like this. Because if you just keep the machine still like this, you'll you'll create a thicker line, almost like a cal calligraphy pen as such. So I'm turning it round so it's still keeping the line there. Line, the line there. Uh, I use a medium tone for here. this do the first layer see what it looks like and add the second layer if it needs to be a bit darker this is where I turn the machine now it gets a bit tighter there see pretty simple when you know how to do it just using the corner the corner of this just to do the little tiny Tiny bits next to here. And then you can shade as well. You can shade off of this. So turning the mag needle back round to the normal shade and you can sh just shade that in like so. Using the brush motion, the pendulum motion. Just create that nice little fade, and we're starting to see it coming together now. What's up from India? Um, brush motion, pendulum motion, like so. Creating the contrast so it looks proper 3D, proper depth to the tattoo. I'll probably extend this down a tiny bit more. Slow your hand speed down if it looks a bit. If you move your hand your hand too fast, you'll then see the, the lines in the skin. It doesn't look very smooth. 
if you see that happening, just slow your hand speed down. If you do this and you can see these lines, look, obviously I haven't pressed too hard, but you can see them lines, you're going too fast. Slow your hand speed down like this. And you make it real smooth. Tip there for the day. Sweet. I'm just working through the tattoo. Right, I'm gonna leave it there for this tutorial. Smash a thumbs up on the video if you like it. Um, follow my Instagram, Oliver Air, for the uh, finished, the finished piece. Uh, please subscribe if you're new. Always helps the channel. And uh, if you want more in-depth videos, look on my Patreon account, www.patreon.com forward slash Oliver Air. You can then uh, have a look at more in-depth videos like this one. It's very rare that I do this kind of tutorial on YouTube, but I thought while I'm doing this, I may as well dive a bit deeper. So yeah, cheers for watching guys. It's Air, by the way, my pronunciation of my last name.